Hey, it's Ray here, and if you ever had this happen to you, you go out, you shoot a great video, and when you get back to the studio, you stick that video into your editor, and the sound is really, really low. In fact, it's so low, you're not sure you're gonna be able to use it. Well, today I'm gonna show you how you can use that audio, how you can fix it, and make sure it still sounds great. Okay, so let's do a quick little test. I've got this lavalier microphone on. It's the WMX2 from Movo. So if you need a lavalier microphone, a nice tiny one, click the link down in the description and pick one of those up because it is a great microphone. All right, so we're gonna record at a high level, then we're gonna record at a low level, and we're gonna test it in the studio and see if we can make both of those still sound great. So let's give the test a try right now. I'm gonna start off by saying a little poem. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, so now we're gonna lower the sound on this microphone and see if we can then fix it in post and make them both sound really good. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro and we've got our two clips. The first one that was recorded at a high level Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. And one that was recorded at a very low level. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And you can see from the meters how low that is. So how can we adjust this to make sure that they sound very, very similar? Well, the first thing most people would do is probably just pump up the volume. And you can do that, but as you can see, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as we're still peaking below negative 12 here and nowhere near where he went, the lamb was sure to go. The plus or the negative five that we're getting right here. So what we wanna do is first of all, we're gonna put that volume back to zero for right now. And we're gonna go into our audio area and we're gonna make sure first of all that we turn on voice isolation. I like to do that with most clips. It just cleans it up a little bit, makes it sound nice when people are speaking. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to go into our audio filters and I'm gonna search for the limiter. Now limiter, what that does is that stops audio from hitting certain peaks, but it can do a whole heck of a lot more and I'm gonna show you how. You're gonna drag that and drop it onto the clip and you'll see it doesn't really do anything yet. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go into our audio area, we're gonna to go to the limiter and we're going to click on the visual editor here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, first of all, pump up the game. So the gain is now at, at 20, and you can see that's really pumped up the waveforms here. But what we also wanna do is we wanna make sure that it's not gonna mess things up too much. So we wanna put the release at about 250, and then our output level we want to limit to about negative five. Okay, and that's just gonna stop it from peaking beyond that. Now in this case here, because this is actually low, you see that that still is a little bit low. It's not gonna reach that negative five anyway. So let's try bringing that down to like a negative three. And you can see that brings the volume up there just a little bit. And the look ahead at two is fine. We're also gonna change this to legacy and turn on the soft knee. Now once we do that, you can already see that our levels are much, much closer. And let's take a listen lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little lamb who's okay so it's starting to sound a lot closer now it is still a little bit low and if we play this back and look at our meters over here sure to go. Oops let's try that again there we go. No. Everywhere that Mary went the lamb was sure to go. So now we're kind of peaking at negative six and kind of hovering in this negative 12 area so we may want to boost that up a little bit so this time we will up the volume. I'm going to try like a plus five. And that's actually looking pretty good. You can see it's peaking right here just a tiny bit. I can see a little bit of yellow there. And so let's take a look at the meters while we play this again. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, so we were mostly hitting about negative five there, which is good. We did have like at those peaks right here and right here, they went a little higher, but they still maxed out at about negative two. And so that's okay. If you want to adjust that individually, you could certainly go in and do that. And all you'd have to do is, you know, maybe just zoom in a little bit, grab those little peaks and just bring the volume down for that split second. But to me, I think that 
it becomes noticeable. And I think that peaking at like a negative two is not so bad there. It doesn't really throw anything off. So there's really no need to. I would leave that the way that is. But as you can see, we now have waveforms that look pretty much identical. And while this one's a little more- This was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went. And kind of really sticking to that negative five. This one here bounces around a little bit. Mary more. had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb but it's looking really good, it sounds really good, and so this is where I would set this at. And of course, considering we started with audio that seemed to have no levels at all, this is coming out really, really nice, and this isn't very difficult to do. Anybody can do this. If you use Final Cut Pro, the limiter is built in. It's not something that you have to add. It is actually a built-in filter that you can add to your audio, and you can make a big difference. In fact, I tend to use that limiter on most things that I do because it really gives power and punch to that sound, but still keeps it from peaking too high. So use that whenever you can if it's going to make a difference to your audio and you can really make things sound very good and have a very strong level without going over. Well, what did you think? Not too bad, right? We started off with some high level audio, some low level audio, and we made all of it sound good in the end. But of course that does require that you have at least a decent microphone like the WMX2, get it down below. But be sure to use some sort of good microphone so that you're not relying on the microphone that's built into your camera, which never really sounds that great. And we wanna make sure that the audio is great in all the videos because that's what keeps people watching is good audio that they can understand. So get out there right now, start recording some more videos and make sure you get great audio when you do.